WTFNN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern time on Friday morning, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. We got markets hanging out on the positive side, it looks like so far. Dow futures up 41 points, trading at 26,933. S&P futures in the green by about six right now, trading at 29.86. NASDAQ futures up 12 points, trading at 77.99. Got some action in oil to the downside off a buck 22 at 55.19. And the 10-year yield up a bit above 1.7%, 1.708% on the 10-year yield. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the indices. S&P 500. 29.88, trading higher from most of the overnight session, reaching a high at about 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 29.92, or a few points off that level currently. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar formation. We trade higher overnight. We actually dip down briefly till about 10, a, excuse me, 10 p.m. last night at 77.54. You climb all the way up to 78.20. We're just off that level at 78.03. Dow 30 currently trading 26,943, almost made it up to 27,000 at about 6 a.m. this morning. There's your crude oil market, as we said, in the red in a dramatic fashion. Talk about an acceleration to the downside. 6.20 a.m. this morning, we're trading at 56.52. You trade all the way down to under $55 just in the last half hour, and then we got a little bit of a pop with crude oil volatility continuing. Crude trading at 55.37. There's your gold contract, trading lower for most of the overnight session as well. Started to slide at about 1 a.m. Eastern time, trading at 15.14. Gold goes all the way to a 14 handle of 14.97, and right now trading right at $1,500. And the euro U.S. dollar trading at 109.34. In terms of other news you have happening out there in the market, Wells Fargo getting a new CEO. As the BNY Mellon, their CEO, Charles Scharf, he'll be stepping in to the embattled Wells Fargo. This is the third CEO, I believe, in about three years as they deal with some chaos still reeling from a few scandals there and the market liking that they have a new CEO. There's your Wells Fargo chart. Closed yesterday at 48.87. Looks to open this morning at 50.46. And another story we'll be watching. How about Peloton? As the world of IPOs continue to struggle, was priced at $29 for an IPO, only made it to $27.98 and looks to open at about $25.85. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento with Trade What You See. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Have a great Friday. We'll be right back.